The Bison Basketball Show with NDSU head coaches Dave Richmond and Jory Collins. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And Pepsi. Welcome in to another edition of the Bison Basketball Show. I'm Rob Hip here, joined by men's head basketball coach Dave Richmond. Finishing up 11 and 7 in the summit, earning the number three seed coming up here on Sunday. Coach, how have you been? Good to see you. All good. It's crazy that, um, you know, this is, season is coming to an end. And, um, you know, pleased with the way some things finished up down the stretch. We won a bunch of games, and to get that third seed is great. Not where we want to be. Our expectations are to be that one, one or two seed, and, and obviously the, the one seed. Um, but this time of year, anything can happen, and, and this is a great time of year to be exactly where we're at in March. We'll talk more about the upcoming Summit League Tournament here in just a few moments, but we still had a couple of basketball games last week, and we'll start going back looking at that contest versus St. Thomas at the Shill Center. The Bison getting off uh, to this game a little bit slow in that first half, but came back in the second half. Just your overall thoughts, Coach, as we dig in. Yeah, you know, I, again, it was kind of the tale of two halves in, in both games this weekend, and, and you know, for, for whatever reason, on Thursday we didn't have a great start um, you know credit the guys a, a ton they were able to lock in at, at uh, half and really responded with a great victory against the St. Thomas team that had playing been playing pretty well and um, you know that that's a common theme right there you're seeing Josh Strait just be really active on the glass creating extra possessions uh, fun to see this time of year a guy like Lance Waddles get in and have some success and you go you go down to Sioux Falls and you're playing in the Summit League tournament you're gonna need all your parts and you need all your parts engaged and and, and clicking and playing well and so it's fun to see everybody kind of get going a little bit. It was a 73 to 64 victory over the Tommies this past Thursday and as we mentioned the slow start there in that first half we talked about the second half really what sparked that comeback in the second half. Well anytime that you know Bison basketball is at its best it's it's defending and rebounding and, and uh, I thought we've just been really the last two weekends we've been great uh, defensively holding teams well below their average you know holding them under 40 percent from the field. Um, you know, for the most part, we've, uh, we've rebounded the basketball. I think we were plus 15 or 16 in, in this game. Um, and then it's just a matter of just some offensive efficiency things, taking better care of the ball, taking good shots, sharing it, doing those things that, that kind of separates and gaps things for us. The Tommies took 46 three-point attempts in that ball game. Was that something you were anticipating heading you, you know, I, and, and it's funny, it, it's gotten brought up quite a bit. I didn't even realize it was that many, Rob. But um, hey, you know, we'll take victories any way we can. And um, they, they made 12, but they took 46 to get them. And that's what we want to make sure that we're turning teams into volume guys. You mentioned, too, about the rebounding, out-rebounding the Tommies. 42 to 27. Just how impressed were you with the guys on the glass on both sides? Not just the defense, but the offense. Yeah, well. very, very impressed. Again, a guy like Josh Strite is continuing to create extra possessions. I think Andrew Morgan and, and Grant Nelson are doing a good job for those, uh, for us too, on those on the offensive glass. But really, it's a culmination of us being pretty locked in defensively. The types of shots that we're forcing our opponent into, Rob. Um, helps lead us to you know being great on the glass when we can do all those things it, it leads us to who we want to be offensively and so pleased with the direction that we're going there. Grant Nelson recording his seventh double double in a row in that contest and that leads us into Saturday's matchup versus Western Illinois a very tough leatherneck team the Bison wanting to avenge a loss to open up the regular season back there in Macomb they did just that but again this game got off to a very fast start wanted to start with just the positive highlight there coach that these guys got off to a very fast start what was working in that first half for the Bison? Well, again, I thought you know we were very locked in. They, they had some tough shots early. Um, we stayed the course and got some things flowing uh, offensively. I think at one point we had seven assists to only one turnover. And um, you can just see, I thought Jakari came out and, and he got that offensive rebound um, three. You know, Strike got the offensive rebound, kicked it to kicked it to Jakari, got him going a little bit. And, and again, there you can see that's, that's Bison basketball at its best right there, Rob, where we're getting stops, we're getting out on the break. Um, and getting easy baskets in the paint. And uh, that's got to continue to be our identity. We're going to want to have some success here in March. As things continuing on, though, in that second half, of course, things dropping off quite a bit for the Bison. Just what do you feel like really caused some issues there in that second half for the Bison? Yeah, I just thought we got away from some things, Rob. We got away from some things that make us successful. And um, some of it's about handling success, handling success the right way. And, um, you know, our, our guys, to their credit, were able to find a way ultimately at the end. But plenty of learning experiences, and, and for me, it's it's certainly about you know, yeah, it's a result-oriented business, and you got to get those wins. But it's how you get them. It's the opportunities to continue to attack a process, and we got away from those things a little bit in the second half. Something that we've got to shore up here early. 
um, early in the uh, early in the week. But that was just a terrific shot by Bowden, um, and, and hopefully can 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 springboard some joy into this week of practice uh, that we're going to need as we work towards um, Sunday evening in Sioux Falls. As you go down in that second half too, we just saw the shot by Bowden Scumberg, of course, with the buzzer beater there. How was that play drawn up? Was that anticipating going to him? Was it designed for Grant? How did you kind of work that last play up with yeah, 10 seconds and, to go? Yeah, and get to, you know, not too too many specifics here as there, your opponents are going to, but you, you put your ball, put the ball in the, uh, your, your, your best player's hands, and that's Grant, um, and you trust him to make the right decision. And Grant got into a situation where he was getting doubled. They were going to come at him a little bit. Um, to his credit, he, he trusted one of his brothers and, and got it to Bowden, and Bowden, Bowden made a terrific shot here. Um, buzzer beater, fun to see. Yeah, we won't give away the full details. The best way to get those details is come out watch these guys in yeah. person. Demario Wheeler Thomas also a couple of big critical baskets there down the stretch as well. Well, I, I thought you know you mentioned it. We weren't uh, the best version of ourselves in, in the second half. I'm very pleased with some leadership that Demari gave us uh, at, at the at the point guard position. He made some big baskets. He was dynamite all weekend against Miller and St. Thomas on Thursday, and then Rosner. Um, Saturday afternoon uh, against Western, he, he was great defensively. So pleased to see that we we need some leadership. It's been talked about, um, and when you have leadership at the point, Rob, um, you got something special. Now the tournament coming up on Sunday. We know that the Bison will face South Dakota. 8:30 tip off there. What are you looking forward to in this year's Summit League tournament? Well, I mean it's always a great time of year, and, and what's helped us be successful is, is Rob is really staying in the moment and preparing, um, and enjoying this week of being together, enjoying this week of progressing and getting better. Um, and soaking in the atmosphere when you do get in down into Sioux Falls and, and locking in for 40 minutes. It, it's, it's not a tournament, right, unless you go down there and you take care of business for, for that first one and, and, and make yourself feel, get a feel for that tournament and be a part of it. And so important week of practice for us as, as we build into what will be a big, fun, exciting contest Sunday night. You know, as we wrap up the regular season, just what have you enjoyed most about these guys this year? Well, it's certainly been a journey. Um, and and um, to their credit, you know, I, I'm not always the easiest guy to be around for four or five months because it's challenging. Um, but these guys have stayed the course. Uh, they continue to show up every Monday with an attitude that they want to get better. Uh, have we been perfect? No, far from it. Have we gotten better significantly? And I think that's that's a sign of a good group. That's a sign of a, of a process that's working where there's development along the way. Good news is March is here. That means basketball continues and the Bison still focused and ready to roll. We'll have that game again Sunday at 830 versus South Dakota. Not too far of a drive, so get down there to Sioux Falls and support these guys in person. Coach, been a fun season. We still got more on the show, though as Logan Campbell will be speaking with Ryan Slitton uh, whenever we come back here in just a few moments. So appreciate you this year, Coach. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, Rob. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. A better way of life is better days off and better nights in. Better hellos. And better goodbyes. With locally approved, financed, and serviced home loans, Gate City Bank makes buying a home simple. Welcome home. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Are you looking for an opportunity to work in an exciting and innovative environment? WDAY-TV is hiring. Be a part of a locally owned award-winning station. All current job openings can be found at forumcom.com slash careers. We're a leading media and technology company with a core culture of values and perks like competitive PTO, benefits, and more. Join our team of people whose passion and purpose is fueled by collaboration and innovation. WDAY-TV. Build your career here. Inform has been your trusted local news source for more than 130 years. We are committed to providing our community with local news that's relevant, trustworthy, and accurate. But what sets us apart is our unique understanding of the Fargo-Moorhead community, because it's our community too. Get local news that works for you at Inforum.com. Burgers, better with Pepsi. 
Welcome back in to the Bison Basketball Show. Well, we constantly hear about Grant Nelson, Andrew Morgan, and Bowden Skunberg, but a, main, a name you may not know comes from the bench, and Laramore's Ryan Sletton. He was scrolling through Twitter when he saw a flyer for NDSU basketball tryouts. After not playing for a year, the sophomore decided to take a chance and bet on himself. WDAY's Logan Campbell sat down with Sletton to discuss the journey to the green and gold. You were going up against guys like Grant Nelson, Bowden Scumberg, yeah. Andrew Morgan. Were you like, okay, I got this, I can hang with them? I was a little bit nervous coming into the first day of practice. I mean, I've never seen that competition before, so it was a really an eye opener. When Dave pulled you in to tell you you got to spot on the team, do you remember what that conversation was like? Yeah, I was a little bit nervous coming into his office. I mean, I've been a Bison fan for a lot of years. I've known, I mean, I've watched the team. So it was kind of cool to step in his office and actually get to talk to him. We came in to that workout and gave great effort. Um, you know, again, uh, we're going to do our homework on everybody that, that's going to be involved in our family. This is a tight family that moves uh, pretty exclusively for a six-month period. And all the other boxes checked out. And the fact that he was going to school here had some passion for green and gold. But when you told your parents, because your mom played basketball here, yep. your brother is on the track and field team, yep. what was their reaction like? They were pretty excited for me, I think. My mom... Yeah, she played back in the 80s, so she was pretty excited that I got to, uh, I got a spot on the team. Brian, we've seen you in a few games so far this season. Yeah. You just got, what, your first points yes. as a Bison the yep. other day. What was that moment like for you? It was kind of a relief. Um, I've had a couple in and outs the past, the past few games, so it was kind of, kind of nice to get one at least. Get my name in the record books. Going into those that that you know free throw, um, that week of practice was a bear, right? I mean, and and, and it was challenging. Um, Ryan was one of the guys at one point that you know missed, you know wasn't able to finish something, and we had to go back and do something again. Um, but he finished at that time. His teammates rallied behind him, and again, there's just so much shared sacrifice that goes into this behind the scenes, and. Um, so for him to get rewarded and, and get his name in the box score with a point, and, and that'll be in NDSU history forever, a yeah, pretty cool deal. All right, well, there he was, Ryan Sletton. Coach, kind of became a fan favorite here. What have you been most impressed with Ryan this year? Yeah, you can see the smile on my face, and even during the interview, the smile on my face. Just really happy for Ryan. We, we talk about being a sum of all of our parts, Rob, 1 to 13, 13 to 1. And uh, Ryan's come in. He's come in in a unique way, um, but credit him. He's entrenched himself with the guys. The guys have done a good job of, of making him feel welcome. Uh, he, he's been a part of everything. Uh, so much of it is behind the scenes. So pleased to see him get that free throw the other day against Ohio. Well, Coach, again, appreciate you. Been a fun season. Still a lot of basketball remaining. We will see you down in Sioux Falls coming up Sunday at 8.30 p.m. versus South Dakota. We'll see you there, Coach. going to be a lot of fun. Go Bison. Thanks, Rob. All right. We'll have more when we come back. Jory Collins for women's basketball joins us on the other side. We'll see you back here on the Bison Basketball Show. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. This is Jack. Jack loves sports. And since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better, Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. News happens at all hours of the day and night. Stories develop and situations change in the blink of an eye. In our community, knowing where you can turn at any time of the day for clear information and facts is more important today than at any other time. That's why we start our day in the middle of the night to gather new information and be ready to bring it to you. Tracking what has changed overnight and how that will impact your day today. We're here for you with the most up-to-date news and weather to get you on your way because your community is our community. When it matters most, turn to the most watched, most trusted news team in the region. The News Leader, WDAY News. More people turn to WDAY News. First on the scene for breaking news and major local stories. The best coverage of local weather, taking the guesswork out of your forecast. Everything you need to know. Turn to the News Leader, WDAY News. Weeknights at 6 and 10. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers.
better with Pepsi. <sighs> Welcome back into the Bison Basketball Show. Rob Hip here, now joined by NDSU women's head basketball coach Jory Collins as the women wrapping up the regular season, earning the number two seed for the first time in program history in the D1 era. Coach, good to see you. How are you doing? Good to see you, Rob. Doing well. Doing well. Been a lot of fun here this season and still some basketball to go. We'll talk more about the Summit League a little bit later in the show and that tournament, but wanted to go back first and, and look at two very tough and critical games on the road, starting with St. Thomas this past Thursday and the girls getting a victory there. Got off to a little bit of a slow start in that first half, but just kind of wanted you to break this one down. Your overall thoughts in that in that game versus St. Thomas. Yeah, you know, just a little bit of, of adversity, you know, even getting to St. Thomas with the weather last week, Rob had to leave a day early, so pulled up in the hotel for a couple days before we got to actually get in the gym and play. Uh, the first half was just a struggle. I, I don't remember what the score was, maybe 18, 17, something kind of ridiculous. Um, two teams playing really good defense, but neither one could buy a basket and, and multiple turnovers in the first half. But second half came out and, and we found a little bit of rhythm. Um, we're able to get some things going. Taylor Brown was terrific in this game. Um, really was able to kind of establish a post presence for us in a way that we haven't had. Um, you know, in a while. And so that was great to see for us. L. Evans was kind of doing L. Evans things in this particular game. Uh, Schulte, you can see right here, we were able to start to get downhill and make some plays in the paint late in the game, which allowed us to separate a little bit. It was a 66 to 44 victory versus the Tommies. And you were right, the Bison trailed 17 to 18 after the first two quarters. But then that third quarter just really pouring on the juice, 24 to eight outscoring St. Thomas. What'd you tell the girls at halftime? Well, we just, you know, we felt great about how we were guarding. We were sticking to uh, our game plan and doing those things, you know, at a really high level. We just turned the ball over too many times in the first half and just didn't give ourselves much of a chance to get in rhythm. For us to score 17 in the first and then 47 in the second half, you know, it's a credit to the girls to, to come out and, and play the way they did. L. Evans finishing up with 17 points. It was the 11th time in a row she scored in double figures. I like what you said earlier. L. Evans doing L. Evans things. It's kind of became a verb. What has led to her success? Yeah, I just, I really like, you know, sometimes as freshmen, you get down towards the end of the season and, and kids hit a wall and, and she just hasn't had that. You know, she's actually getting better and getting stronger as we go. Um, she's become one of our most consistent players here. Uh, like you said, double figures, I think, in 11 straight games. But she's also blocking shots every game and, and impacting us on that end. So it's just been good to see her really settle into her role this year. Well, that takes care of St. Thomas as the Bison victorious on the road. Then the ladies, they go on Saturday and have to battle another tough team in Western Illinois going there and getting that victory in Macomb, though. Just walk us through this game, Coach. Another good way to end yeah. the regular season. Yeah, senior day for them. So they had a good crowd and, and a good environment. Um, you know, I liked going into this game. Our team felt like, hey, if we win this game, we're going to be able to secure the two seed in the, in the Summit League tournament. So we had something on the line and needed to show up ready to respond. We got off to a terrific start, um, just really executed in the first quarter, uh, played good defense. Uh, we got a little lackadaisical in the end of the second quarter, allowed them to come back a little bit and, and really make it a tighter ball game than, than it was. Uh, but you got to give Western Illinois credit. They're, they're really tough at home and, and their style of play can make it difficult. Um, you can see here Heaven creating some plays. She got off to a really st slow start shooting. Uh, but obviously finished in the second half just on fire. Um, I think she started 0 for 5 from the three-point line and then finished 5 for 7 maybe or 5 for 8. So hit some daggers uh, as you can see here late in the game when it was tightened up. It's 82 to 74 the final as the ladies taking care of business here versus Western Illinois and a four-game win streak with that victory there as well. Two back at home and then of course these last two on the road. How did that momentum from St. Thomas maybe carry over into this game? Yeah, it was nice to go on the road and play well, especially in the second half. Um, you know, like we said, we struggled in the first half, but to put up 47, St. Thomas is a very good defensive team. And for us to put up 47 in the second half of that game, I think gave our team a little bit of juice uh, heading into Western. I was proud of our team. You know, the, the UNO and Denver road trip was not good for us. Um, and, and we had a chance to respond from that and come home and play Kansas City well, play Oral Roberts well, and then go back on the road. and and try to get some momentum to finish the year. So, you know, win, being able to win four in a row going into Summit League play uh, tournament this weekend is, is something we're happy with.
think with Western too, Heaven Hamling finished up with 31 points. It was the second time this season she has finished over 30. We know the leader that she is and just how she continues to dominate on the court. How has that confidence with her just continued to grow throughout this entire season? Yeah, and I think that game in particular, you know, she got her nose broke in the St. Thomas game mm -hmm. um, and, and had to finish that game with a mask on. And she got hit hard. Um, and, and for her to respond and come out, you know, she could have easily in the first half of that Western game said, I, you know, she missed her first five threes and could have said this mask I can't see. Uh, but she's a warrior, uh, stayed with it, got hot late, um, just, you know, had a terrific performance at a time where we really needed her to step up and, and she delivered and she's done that for us all year long. Taylor Brown has been another one of those players that we've continued to highlight throughout this season, having a phenomenal career start here for NDSU women's basketball. She had her second double-double versus Western Illinois. What have you liked about her play? Yeah, you can just see with Taylor, she knows it's coming down to the end of the season. It's getting into March where all these games really matter. She knows this is her, you know, last trip around the sun here, uh, and, and she is locked in, you know, just as much as she's ever been. Uh, you know, I think multiple double-doubles here late, uh, but is just – I can see her sense of urgency is picked up a little bit more, uh, and that's great to see this time of year. you got to have it. You know, going on the road and getting those two victories, how tough has it been on the road this season, especially in the Summit League? It's been tough for us. So we've kind of been Jekyll and Hyde on the road. Um, you know, there's, there's been some games where you just say, oh, we just didn't finish or didn't shoot it very well, and that, that's probably an easy cop-out to say, you know, we didn't make baskets. Uh, but, man, you go back and watch them, and sometimes – that's a big part of it. You know, you put the ball in the hole uh, and some of the it changes a lot of things that happen in the basketball game. Uh, but we've been up and down. It, it feels good here this last weekend to, to get it right uh, for a couple games where we needed to get it right uh, and just end on that positivity. A lot of success here in the regular season with this women's basketball program and more success headed their way as we'll step aside. We'll talk about the upcoming Summit League Tournament when we come back. Stay with us. This is the Bison Basketball Show. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. However, it looks like a little night ninja took off with his card, as they sometimes do. <laughs> but lucky for Jack, he can freeze his missing debit card with the tap of his mobile app. And even if his card is stolen or lost for good, he can go to any Gate City Bank location to get a new card issued instantly. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Your local news informs and inspires. We share your stories of sorrow and hope. The stories that entertain, educate, and engage. Your news at five starts. We now. record the past and reveal the future. We tell the stories of your community with local news. For the best sports coverage, turn to the home of local sports, WDAY. For exclusive live games, analysis, and much more, there are more ways to watch than ever before. Turn to WDAY and WDAY Extra or subscribe online to WDAY Sports Plus. For up-to-the-minute content you won't find anywhere else. Available on Inforum.com. Don't miss a minute of the action on the home of local sports, WDAY. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Welcome back into the Bison Basketball Show. Rob Hip here with women's head basketball coach Jory Collins. And as promised, Summit League Tournament. We're going to talk about it as the women finishing up, earning that number two seed. Uh, just wanted to ask you about what's really been the catalyst this year for the success of this team heading into this tournament. Yeah, I think if you had to, you know, put it into words, it's probably just our, our, our team chemistry is good. Our commitment as a group is good. I mean, this is... This has been a really enjoyable team to coach. They've responded to coaching. They've responded to each other. Um, I've really enjoyed our new staff. Um, we have great chemistry in coaching and, and preparing. Uh, our players have good chemistry in practicing and just being together. 
Um, you know, I think that stems all the way back from the summer and, and all the things that we've talked about being able to do together as a team. So I just I feel like we're a united group. Uh, whether we play well or don't play well, it hasn't changed how we feel about each other. Uh, and we get ready for the next one. And, uh, you know, that's just a, a mentality that you got to have in, a, in, in athletics where it's up and down. There's going to be a lot of positives. There's going to be some hard times. You got to be able to stay consistent in your relationships. And uh, our team's been able to do that. Well, looking forward to the matchup. And we know now the game will be on Saturday, 3 o'clock, playing either the winner of Kansas City or Denver. Whoever wins that game, you'll play them. What are you looking forward to in this matchup? And in, I don't want to ask the question, is there one team you'd rather play than the other? You just want to get out there and play ball. Yeah, you know, it'll be, uh, you know, it's interesting the way we're doing it now. We'll have, uh, you know, a week of practice here, but you don't know who you're playing until, you know, the night before. So we'll get ready for both teams this week. Uh, and, and to be able to have the opportunity to head down and, and you know, see a little bit of that matchup before you play uh, is unique experience and, and going to be great for us. Uh, you know, we don't have a ton of people that have had experience at Sioux Falls. Uh, fantastic conference tournament, one of the best uh, in the country, uh, no doubt. So I'm just excited for our team for the opportunity to be able to go uh, compete in that environment and, uh, you know, see what we can do. Finished up at home, too. It shills 11-1 and one this year. I believe that is a record for this pro, or ties a record going back to 2009, if I'm not mistaken. What has just that Bison Nation crowd meant to your program this year and the energy that they bring? Yeah, I mean, we fed off of it. There's no question. Um, had some great moments in the shack this year. Um, you know, just I, I can think of several times in games where it's been back and forth and, and maybe we've hit a big shot or got a block or, or something great has happened for our team and you can feel the energy in the building. Uh, that carries you for the next two or three possessions. Uh, and I think our players have embraced that, uh, playing at home and trying to play well in front of our crowds. Um, and, and, you know, we love Bison Nation and, and, and it's been fun to play at home this year. Coach, when you go back and look at this season, what have you really enjoyed the most? Maybe a moment that really has stood out for you just through the regular season? Yeah, I mean, Rob, I don't know if there's a moment. I, I would tell you just in general, this has been a, a great group to be around. So it's one of those where I'm excited to get in the office and to practice every day. I look forward to seeing our players on a daily basis uh, because I like them so much as people too. Uh, they just happen to be pretty good basketball players also, and uh, it's been an enjoyable season for us. The good news is, like I said, there's still basketball to be played at Summit League Tournament coming up. So make sure you go to GoBison.com for the full schedule and information. Coach, thank you for this season, and we'll see you in the playoffs. Thanks, Rob. We appreciate you. Horns up. Go Bison. The Bison Basketball Show is presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life. And Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar.